if you're going through something bad in your life, if you're experiencing something bad in your world right now, an emotion, an event or whatever, and you just feel like nothing is falling into place, start doing something good for someone else. If you're going through something negative, turn around someone else's day who is maybe struggling and who's far off worse than whatever you're going through. Remember, be grateful for what you have because there's people out there who wish they had your problems. Hello, those. Hello, friend. How are you? Kya hal aapka? Ki hal hai tuwada? Welcome to episode 36 of the Abundancy Podcast. As always, thank you for taking time out of your busy life, busy schedule to take some time to have our weekly date. If this is your first episode ever, welcome. Hello, those. Kya hal hai aapka? So excited and elated and absolutely privileged to have you here. Please consider subscribing and heading back and listening to all the episodes from episode number one. And secondly, head on over to Instagram, give me a little follow, send a little hello, those. I would love to connect with you. And our Abundancy family is growing daily. We are up to almost 18,000 family members of the Abundancy tribe just on Instagram. So head on over there, send me a message. Let's connect. And again, thank you for being here and allowing me the honor of educating you, empowering you, and teaching you these incredible lessons that are going to make your life better. and make you more successful because again my mission and my job here is to see you thrive is to see you succeed so let's jump in one of the things that may be holding you back from succeed, from succeeding and thriving are negative emotions i get uh, messages all the time uh, that come in saying arslan bhai i am uh, extremely positive i've been super positive over the last couple of weeks but today i'm just having a really bad day it is one of those days and we've all had those days you know you wake up and everything is going wrong. You wake up late, you're falling be- behind on your schedule, you end up eating the thing that you didn't want to eat, you feel lethargic, you feel exhausted, and you end up taking out aggression towards your loved ones and then not treating yourself the way you should be treating. And then that sometimes, you know, triggers other things as well into the next day and the following day and it's kind of like fall is kind of like falling down a staircase you like take that one you're like just walking on a staircase and you kind of fumble and you miss a step and then you end up just like <laughs> you end up just you know face falling down the staircase all the way i know that sounds like a horrible uh, metaphor for this but that's kind of like what it feels like um so let's let's talk about negative emotions there's many different negative emotions that you may be feeling in your particular day or this week or this month or you just may be going through the season where it's like everything is going wrong some of the negative emotions may be anger Anger is a very common one I get asked all the time Arslan how do I get past this anger I just feel so angry and I feel so upset for no reason uh by the way if you hear this little trickling uh back and forth uh as I'm recording this podcast episode in the living room and if you're uh, wa- listening to this be sure to head over to YouTube and watch the video version uh our little Mistella Jane our puppy is kind of like running pacing back and forth in the living room so you she may make an appearance on the video but uh going back to it sorry a little detour there uh anger is a very common um negative emotion that comes up and uh anger then sometimes turns to hostility and hostility you know sometimes ends up uh turning into uh feeling shame and guilt for feeling that way and most of the negative emotions you may feel have that consequence of feeling bad about how you feel okay so other negative emotions aside from anger may just be the negative emotion of self doubt feeling like you're not good enough you're not worthy enough you're just not uh talented enough you know again that limiting belief that imposter syndrome um you know again being positive all the time is is it's like a fairy tale it's a dream to feel that way it's it's like a disney movie to feel positive all the time but it's not going to happen Even I don't feel positive all the time and that is okay. The whole catalyst of this episode, the whole reason I wanted to do this particular episode on this topic is to know that not being positive and not being happy all the time, it's okay. And there is a difference between being happy and being optimistic. Okay? It is okay to be optimistic that again there's that hope, knowing that tomorrow is going to be better and holding on to that optimism. But sometimes happiness is like a fleeting emotion. It'll come and go, and that's okay. You just have to experience and witness and be in that present moment when you're feeling whatever emotion it may be. So when there are those positive emotions like happiness, again go listen to my episode on happiness. I, I did an incredible episode that a lot of you have enjoyed on how to be happy. So happiness is a good emotion. Happiness is a great emotion. It's the emotion that we're all striving for, but then negative emotions will come up. 
So negativity is part of your story. It's part of your life. So here are some things that I do whenever I am feeling a negative emotion that may trickle in. Because even Arsalan Pai, even some days I wake up a little bit later than I originally wanted to. My alarm clock goes off, but I hit the snooze and then I completely shut it off and I end up waking a couple hours later than what I wanted to. And so my entire morning routine is out the window. I'm waking up later than I want to. I'm not able to go to the gym like I like to in the morning. Uh, I'm maybe not drinking the water right away that I want to drink, not doing the things in the morning I want to, my gratitude practice, my little bit of meditation, a little bit of movement. And sometimes I just have to wake up and get straight into um, doing what I need to do for that day. And even then, I'm not feeling fully invested in my creativity because when I wake up late, when I'm not starting the day off right, I feel guilt and I feel shame. So those negative emotions for me show up when I am kind of behind schedule. And so what I have to do if I'm feeling guilt or shame, which you know, then again can be related to anger, uh, not, and, and I don't mean hostility, but anger uh, on myself, like feeling angry, like why, what did I do? Why didn't I wake up? Why did I choose to stay up? late last night watching movies why <laughs> you know because that will happen sometimes sometimes you'll be feeling really good and uh, feeling really excited about what's happening in your world and those small wins and you decide to uh, stay up late and enjoy your enjoy your life and that's okay again that is okay don't be so hard on yourself don't be so hard on your journey don't put so much pressure on yourself. Don't be so confined in this, this, this thing that you have to constantly be doing. It's okay to kind of steer off once in a while and then you just have to bring yourself back. You have to bring yourself back on course. So the days that I wake up late, the days that I am not fulfilling my morning routine like I would uh, prefer to, and um, it trickles into feeling shame and guilt and anger and just uh, self-remorse, self-pity. You know, you know the feeling of self-pity? Self-pity is another very negative emotion where you're just like kind of just dragging your feet like, oh my goodness, I didn't start my day off right and now blah, 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 boo-hoo, me. I do that sometimes, it sounds awful, but Crystal has to pull me away from that. Like, um, can you stop being so, um, uh, can you just stop with the self-pity? Can you just, it's gonna be okay. Don't, don't turn this bad couple of hours into like the rest of your day being bad, okay? Uh, a bad few hours, a bad day, a bad week does not mean you have a bad life, okay? Experiencing these negative moments, uh, ne negative experiences, negative emotions from time to time does not mean your entire life is doomed. It does not mean your entire day is doomed, your entire week is doomed. You can turn it around. So how do I do it? So the days that I'm feeling negative emotions and I'm not feeling the most optimistic that I should be, what I will do is I'll just kind of figure out, okay, what didn't go right? What am I not happy about over the last couple of hours? Okay, let's, let's, let's uh, be negative for five minutes. I think uh, Tony Robbins talked about this. I, I, I read this somewhere and I don't remember the exact source material, but you get to be upset, angry, um, you know, feeling like frustration. You get to do that for five minutes. Set the timer. For five minutes, you get to kind of be kind of self-loathe. That's self-pity. Set a timer on your phone. For five minutes, you get to say things like, oh, I can't believe that my day started off wrong and I didn't wake up on time and I didn't eat the food that I wanted to. I didn't go work out. I didn't practice my gratitude in the morning. Uh, you could do that for five minutes. In five minutes, all the self-loathing, all the self-pity that you want, just do it. And as soon as five minutes are up, that's it. You're done for that moment. You cannot, you can no longer be uh, walking around self-loathing and infused with self-pity. Put your phone away, put everything away. Let's get back on track. Okay, let's get back on track that negativity. Let's now turn that into positivity. Let's start a little bit of optimism and turn, turn your day around. So some of the things that you can do, again, this all goes back to self-care, self-love. I talk about this all the time and it is so important. I'm gonna keep teaching you on this until it really sticks. Self-care and self-love is so important. You cannot show up as the best version of yourself in your life to other people, your friends, your family, all the people that you care for. You can't show up as the best version of yourself if you're not practicing self-care. So once you've had those five minutes of being in that negative emotion, whatever that negative emotion is for you, it is time to turn it around and start practicing some self-care. Go ahead and start with this. First thing first, drink some water. 
If you are feeling negative, if you are feeling hate or anger or whatever, whatever this emotion that you are not happy with, you're just feeling this negative emotion, let's start with water. Are you drinking enough water? What have you done today in regards to your hydration? Hydration. Uh, there, there's a certain number of, of uh, ounces of water you should be drinking every day. I believe it's your, your, uh, your weight. Uh, I think it's half of your weight in, in ounces. I could be completely wrong, but I think just to do the math, I think if, it's your, if, you're, uh, I think if you're 160 pounds, it's 80 ounces of water. And as I'm saying this, I feel like I hope I'm right. If I'm not, I will go back and correct this. Uh, but I believe that that's the amount of ounces of water you should be drinking. But regardless of the fact, I've, a lot of people are not drinking enough water. It's just, it's just the way it is. People are not drinking enough water and you do not realize how important it is to stay hydrated. Hydration is one of the most important elements of your self-care and uh, your da daily habits. You should be drinking uh, water because what ends up happening is a lot of people mistake, by the way, hunger uh, for... Um, a lot of people, sorry, a lot of people mistake hunger for yeah, uh, being, being just uh, dehydrated. So when you're dehydrated, your, your brain is sending off signals and you may just think that you need to eat something and you end up eating something and not drinking water and then you're still feeling miserable. So really check yourself. Are you drinking enough water? So start with that, drink some water, and then secondly, get some fresh air. And depending on what the weather is like that day, if it's raining, if it's snowing, whatever, whatever is happening outside, uh, put on a raincoat, put on a winter coat, step outside, and even for 30 seconds, you step outside, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let the fresh air in. However cold it is, how, if it's raining outside, whatever is happening outside, get some fresh air. And if it is a nice day outside, if the sun is out and the birds are chirping, if nature is calling your name, put on your sneakers, put on your tennis shoes, walk around the block, go for a little walk. Get some movement. It has been proven, research has been uh, shown over and over again, that even a little bit of walking will amplify the positive chemicals in your brain that you or your brain needs. You know, the positive endorphins, um, the, all the adrenalines that you should be, you know, like experiencing, dopamine, um, all, all, pretty much every single chemical in your brain that is uh, related to positivity will be released simply by walking. That's all you need. Sometimes people are like, I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have time to work out. You don't need to. If you're just wanting to turn your day around and be a little bit happier, just a little bit of positivity come, comes from just going for a little walk. So go for a walk, walk around the block. Go for, if you can walk longer, do that. Go on a hike, whatever you can do, but just at least start with some fresh air. Step outside, get some fresh air. Is sit down, take some deep breaths. Okay, it literally, it's been shown again, scientifically proven, research has shown, it, uh, it takes a minimum of five deep breathing exercises. By that, literally five deep breaths is all you need to really allow oxygen to flow through your body. You don't have to go on a full 20 minute, 30 minute meditation ritual. You don't have to go and do yoga. Just sit down and take five deep breaths. And I mean like, take a deep breath, Inhale through your nose and hold it and then exhale through your mouth. Like really, by the way, when you inhale, uh, again, through meditation and yoga, it's really proven. This is really good for you as well. When you inhale, make sure that you're breathing through your stomach. A lot of people breathe through their chest. So breathe. And what, by, what I mean by that is like allow the air to fill in uh, towards your stomach. And that, that's really going to help the oxygen flow uh, through your body as well. Okay. So you've had water, you had a little bit of movement, uh, some fresh air. Sorry, you had water, you've had fresh air, you've had some movement, you've had a little bit of deep breathing exercises. And then the last thing you can do is take a few minutes and write down uh, in, on a scratch piece of paper, or if you have a journal, just write down five things you're grateful for today. Gratitude, again, goes a long way, but what are five things you're grateful for today? This will really eliminate the negative emotions you're feeling and turn this into some positive affirmations or uh, gratitude practices. Five things, and they can be the most simple things. They don't have to be anything super extravagant, some like monumental thing in your life. It can be simple things like, I am grateful today for the ability to see. I am grateful today for the ability to breathe. I am grateful today for... Um, uh, for having an opportunity to turn my day around. I'm grateful today to have a, a home-cooked meal. Just like simple things. It does not have to be anything 
again, like monumental, just small things. What are you grateful for? And once you've done those five things, now you can kind of start turning your day around. And again, it's, it's small steps, it's baby steps. You may still be feeling that negative emotion kind of like looming in your body. You may still feel that shame, that guilt of whatever that negative emotion is related to. Again, it could be anything in your life. Um, whatever you're going through, it's specific to you as you listen and watch this. This week, today, this month, something is going on in your life. Some other person may have triggered some kind of... Uh, um, negative emotion in you but it is up to you it is always a hundred percent up to you again let's talk about this one more time everything in your life it is completely up to you on how you react and behave and change and operate and learn you are you are the master of your own ship you really are how you're feeling today it is up to you if you want to turn it around what you're going through right now, it is up to you on what you can do to really turn it around. What you're experiencing, the people in your life, your circumstances, how much money you have, everything in your life, you have the ability to change. So any negative emotion or negative experience that you're going through, you can turn that around. Really turn it from being um, you know, defeated to being victorious, all right? Instead of a victim mentality, like, why me? Why me? Why is this happening to me? Why are these things happening to me? Why is my life so awful? Why am I feeling this negative emotion? Instead of feeling like a victim, start feeling like a victor, okay? Instead of feeling defeated, start feeling, you know, completed. It's just start, it sounds so cliche and cheesy, but again, it is completely up to you. You can turn around anything in your life. Everything that you're going through, every remember, you have manifested your current situation in your life. Everything that's happened to you in your life leading up to this point, you are the creator of it. And you can be the creator of what's gonna happen in the next hour, what's gonna happen in the next day, what's gonna happen in the next week. It is all a combination of putting into practice what I'm teaching you, but then also being patient. Being patient. I'm getting a lot of messages, success stories from folks that have started doing the things that I've been teaching you over the past year. And then it's taken them six months to finally reach out and be like, I am finally seeing the results of what you've been teaching me, Arsalan. It's not gonna happen overnight. These things don't happen overnight, but you being able to change anything, those negative emotions, you can change that right now and really go into the swing of things of what you're gonna do in the next hour. So whatever negative emotion you're feeling, whatever bad day that you're having, whatever bad week that you're having, you can turn it around, but it's okay to experience these things, by the way. Don't be so hard on yourself. It is okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a negative emotion. It is a part of your life, it's a part of your brain, it's a part of your history, it's a part of your story. We are just set up this way, but it is up to you to choose what you're going to do next, okay? Be kind to yourself, be patient with yourself, practice that self-care that I taught, and then you can start showing up in, uh, for other people in, in, in the best way you can. And then one last thing, this is really important. Another thing you can do to turn negativity, negativity around, if you're going through something really bad right now, like a bad day or a bad vibe or a bad energy or a bad emotion, one great way that I didn't include in my the five things that I mentioned, like let's, there's a six bonus one. One thing you can do is if you're going through something bad in your life, do something good for someone else. Okay, let me repeat that. If you're going through something bad in your life, if you're experiencing something bad in your world right now, an emotion, an event or whatever, and you just feel like nothing is falling into place, start doing something good for someone else. It could be for a loved one. It could be for a complete stranger. It could be literally going and you know spending some time at a homeless shelter. It might be just going to the store and getting some food and going and uh, dropping food off to some, some homeless folks that really need it. It could be um, it could be a waitress at one of your favorite restaurants who is really struggling in her life and she is expecting a child and she's going to be a single mom and she's expressed these emotions to you. It could be literally going to that restaurant and going to this waitress and just giving her some money and being like, hey, this is for you. I don't want anything in return. I really, you, you've been amazing. You're so wonderful and, and uh, I, I, I'm here for you if you need anything. Small things like that. If you're going through something negative, turn around someone else's day who is maybe struggling and who's far off worse than whatever you're going through. Remember, be grateful for what you have because there's people out there who wish they had your problems. 
You know, when you say things like, I'm stuck in traffic, I'm late for my appointment, I'm late for my meeting, take a quick second to realize that you're stuck in traffic, you're in a car. There are people who are homeless who wish they had a car, who wish they were sitting in, in, a, in a car that, that had air conditioning and who wish they had a job that they were late to, who wish that they had an appointment that they were late to. Again, whatever your negative habit is, whatever your negative emotion is, whatever your bad day or, that you're having, it could be someone else's blessing. Remember that, okay? So turn around someone else's day if you're having a bad one. Make someone else feel better if you're feeling negative, okay? Really take that into note. And what I want you to do, if you're having a negative day, a negative week, a negative emotion, and if this podcast episode or this video really helped you, please send me a message. I love hearing from you. It is one of my favorite things. I love connecting with you. Send me a message on Instagram. Send me a uh, comment here on YouTube. Whatever is easiest for you, please connect with me. I'm here for you, those that I want you to succeed. I want you to thrive and I want you to flourish in life. Connect with me, let me know how I can help you. Take a screenshot of your device if you're listening to this, post it on your Instagram stories, reach out to me, and until next time, I will see you next week on our weekly date. Please let me know how I can help you and consider go consider leaving a review on iTunes if this episode really helped you. Share this with a friend, share this with a family member who really needs it. And in the meantime, go out there, be amazing, and I really hope you can turn this negative emotion into a good one and a negative day into a happy one. Go out there, be amazing, be abundant. I love you, and we will see you soon. Thank you, those.